All right, guys. Well, last time we took a look at 2003. I already have a video of 05. Next one that I'm going to show, and the last one I'm going to show probably for Concord for a while, is 2006. So let's jump right into it. Oh, actually, I'll show you the back cover first, as I usually do. On the side. Okay, here's the opener. Once again, binding's a little sad on this one, so it just flops open on its own, which makes it easy for filming. First up, we have the Roosevelt, and it actually used to come in white back in the day. This is their big, powerful fan. That was, it was a pretty decent fan, actually. Here we have the Taj Mahal and the Windswept. It's just a big Madison, really. Here we have the Florence and the Granville. The Cape Town. Here's the Madison. One of their more iconic fans, also one of their really good ones. Probably one of the best cheaper builder fans made. Here we have the different face plates. Then we have the Windsor over there. We have the R Cruise and the Formosa. The Ivory Coast and the Ponderosa. The Roman Isle and the Visionaire. I had a lot of these, I believe you guys have seen in the previous book. There's the, uh, the New Yorker and the Portofino. The Designer Gallery and the Bamboo Breeze. Now, actually, Mesa Vista, which I talked about in the previous Concord video for a second, had a fan very similar to that. Uh, so, anyways, still so we have the Gratian Isle. The fern leaf and palm leaf breeze to go with the bamboo breeze and the quarry breeze as well. There's the Voyager. Nautica. I always found those shades very interesting, how they just match the finish of the fan so well. I wonder how they are for light distribution. Here we have the Decorama. As you can see, they cut out the polished brass finish rather early on for this one, which I always found very interesting. Next we have the French Quarter. This is the first year they made this thing its own thing. Actually, wasn't it its own thing before? Like, like 10 years before? I think it was. And they discontinued it and reintroduced it or something. Here's the hearth side. And the California. Here's when they introduced the Heritage Square. One of the junkiest things ever. As much as I love Concord, these fans are absolute dog crap. And then we have the Tempest. Oh, and the Phantom, and then once again an appearance by me, a juvenile. And then here we have the All About Looks, the fun, crazy custom thing, which is definitely designed to compete with the Treventi. It's cool, I suppose. I prefer the Treventi. There's just something kind of off about it, but at the same time, cool. And then after this, we, I think, have light kits. Yep. So... We go take a spin through all the different light kits that they uh, have quite a difference from what they had just a few years before in the 03 catalog definitely making it through this one much faster than the other one let's see did i skip something no i didn't then they have all that necklace glass which is great I think it looks good, but I prefer this stuff with the neck because it works in the necklace fitters and it's more versatile. It's also not as expensive a lot of the times. Accessory blades and all this other good stuff. And just fan information here. Apparently they had consumer brochures. I wonder what those were like. Some specs on all the uh, fans. Then we have some compatibility charts here. Some more of the same. Then some other stuff here. And then we're back at the back. So yeah, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said, this will probably be the last Concord catalog I record. Because I think the rest of them are online somewhere. If you don't know how I decide whether I record a catalog or not is, if there's a video of it or the thing's already online somewhere, I'm not going to waste my time by doing it when there's tons here that aren't online Maybe someday if I run out of catalogs, but at the same time, it's a lot of work dealing with this, and I hate just letting them flop open, even if they are 
already in rougher shape. So I record what I have to. We'll put it that way. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.